Welcome back to Airtay Athletics. Today we're going over your vertical press. Here at Airtay Athletics, we like to screen people before we go into a vertical press pattern. A lot of people have some postural issues which prevents them from getting a true good overhead press without hurting the shoulder. If that's the case, we'll usually bring the, uh, the arm motion down a little bit so they're not going completely overhead. They're going a bit more in a horizontal and vertical plane just to prevent any more shoulder issues. On, on a shoulder when going overhead. So here, we're going from a half kneeling position. It's a good way of starting to make sure that you can control your torso a bit better. We're gonna lock in that canister. That's, that's where we're keeping the ribs down. Here, I'm just using an implement of a, a kettlebell. This could be a dumbbell band, a landmine press, a bunch of different variations here. But here, we like to work on that motor control of our torso. We're gonna be working on pressing straight overhead, getting that arm ideally in line with the ear and then slow return right back down Again, that's without letting my lumbar spine extend Again, press directly overhead return right back down from the side profile same thing you can see tensioning through my hip tensioning my ribs working on that press exhale as i drive up and then slow return right back down really working on locking in that core control as i go overhead Again, that's your vertical press, single arm using a kettlebell. Good supplement for whenever you're doing your vertical pulling. You better get some vertical pressing in there. Ideally, we kind of try and get two to three more reps of the pulling with every press we do just to balance you out because a lot of people press and don't like to pull too much. So hope that helps and gets you started on vertical pressing.